know, DC changed the whole lot, you know, landscape, you know, a lot of the neighborhoods, you know, that was bad, they actually, um, they changed. They really, it really changed a whole lot compared to when I was, it was a lot terrible. It was really terrible, the crime, you know, they still got crime going on, but it's not bad as it was back then with the killings and all that stuff. But I mean, it still happens, but... It's, it's a lot, and then the drug is slow. The drug thing slowed down a lot too. It slowed down the crack selling and all that stuff. It slowed down a lot. <sighs> One of my best friends got killed in front of me. That was really painful. You know, I was thir about 13 years old when he got killed, and that really was really, really, really painful. It really couldn't. Um, I turned to a lot of the drugs and alcohol. You know that that I. You know, being that age, you know, I thought that was helping me, but it was really destroying me. You know, I drunk, I drunk a lot of liquor and smoked a lot of marijuana. You know, that, that helped the pain a lot. You know, when it all ended, my wife basically helped me out. You know, to, to put my life back on track. You know, John, he was there too. You know, help me, but my wife, she was like the one that put me where I needed to be. You know. Uh, strong black female, you know, she she really, you know, even right now to this day, she still helped me out. She basically, she the queen of this throne, you know, she, 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 she do it. And that's the key to the whole thing is her. You know, there's a lot of people that went through the same things that I went through. You know, it really is. There's a lot of people that went through the same thing. And it, it's, it's really not an easy job to change. You know, but I was able to be one of those ones that change. I changed for the good, and, you know, I'm able to take care of my family, you know, and I take care of them real well, you know, I take care of them real good, me and my wife, you know, we work together, you know, we work together, it makes everything better, you know, you know what I did a lot, I did a, I did a lot of praying, did a lot of praying, you know, um, I, I, I thought my prayer wasn't going to be answered, you know, but it, it was, and, you know, a lot of, you know, if they could, the advice I can give is to find a person that you really trust, somebody that's doing good, somebody that you can look up to, you know, a nice role model, and go to them and ask them for help. You know, tell them, tell them the situation and tell them you need some help. And I guarantee you, 90% of the time, that person will actually help you. You know, John, John was a fun guy. He was. He, um, he was a real loving guy, cared about us a lot, you know, did a lot of things, you know, a lot of things with us. Um, he, he, was a, he was really good, he made our life a lot better than what it was. I'm glad he was around, because if he wasn't around, it would have been a lot, you know, a lot worse than what it was. It took a while to write this book, you know, some days, 12, 16 hours to write it. You know, um, it, it was a long process, you know, some days I spent... Saturdays and Sundays with them, like some Friday, Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays, you know, we 16 hours straight and I'm just talking and I mean it took like two years to do the book, you know, the hard part was about the editing, you know, we had a lot, you know, they edited a lot, like he'd talk to, he'd talk to me, he'd talk to John, so it's like a duet, you know, John, you know, I speak in the book and John, you know, you know it was back and forth like that, you know. It's, it's a real good book, real touching good book, real good book. You know, um, I'm still learning. You know, I, I really am still learning because the thing about it, I grew up without no dad. You know, um, he came later on in life, in my life, you know. He was a great guy. Um, he just passed like two months ago. You know, so I, I, you know, he sat down and told me his life story. And um, what I did was, what made me a better father was, I did everything different. I listened to the wrong things that he did in life, and I reversed it and did them differently. And that's what made me a better dad than what I am. And then I got a lot of love for my kids too. So you know, everything I do is basically for them. You know, every everything I do. You know, all my items. 34 years old, about to be 35. I did a lot of stuff in my life. So everything basically. Put my 100% in my boys. So like I go take them fishing, they play football, um, basketball, you know, parks, beaches, 
vacation. You know, I do all that with my kids. You know, so I basically learned a lot of that from him. You know, they asked me what's good advice on, you know, I'm about to become a mentor. What's, what's good advice, you know, I should do with the kid that I told him is never give up on that child. You know, when you think things bad, just don't give up on them, you know. You, you know, once a kid trusts you, you know, you, you don't want to lose that trust. That You know, you get that bond with them, you know. You just don't give up on them. Don't give up on them, and it, 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 you'd be surprised later on down the line how that child will end up. That child will be, be great, and you catch them when they're small. You know, catch them when they're small.